Today we're taking a look at the Vega shotgun. This is a select fire shotgun that's fed from a detachable magazine. Let's check it out. Here we are on Chernerus in the town of Glugova and we're going over the Vega shotgun. This is a select fire shotgun. It holds different magazines. If you look over here in my inventory, it will hold a five round magazine, an eight round, and the drum magazine that holds 20 rounds of ammunition. As far as the ammunition, you look up here, the red shells are the buck shots. This is what shoots the pellets that spread. It does have rifle slugs for shooting a little further distance, and it has rubber slugs. Now the rubber slugs, they're only good if you want to knock a player unconscious. It will knock back an infected, but it won't kill them. I want to show you a few weapon basics. I'm going to take off here. Look at the bottom left. You'll see that that's showing you the gun that's in your hand. And we have the Vega shotgun in our hand. The green dot means that it is a good condition. Zero means zero ammo. It is set to full auto and it's ranged at 25 meters. Now the Full auto range, it's, since it is select fire, if you hit X on the keyboard, and please let me know if you're on console what it is for uh, you, you on PlayStation Xbox. I'm hitting X, and then I changed it to semi-automatic. Hit X again, it's back to full auto. I'm going to show you exactly what that looks like here in just a second. Now, the reason I have the gun empty is because I want to show you, before we load a magazine, I'm going to drop these onto the ground. And that way, I have no loaded magazines, but I do have loose ammunition. If you hold down the R on a PC, if you hold down the R, it's going to load one shot into the chamber, which is great. So now we have one shot. Now, if you want to unload that shot, if you double click R, double tap the R key, I should say, it will unload it. Now we're back to zero. Now I'm going to put these magazines back into my inventory that are loaded. And I'm going to show you the reason I did that is because now... Even though we have zero ammunition, if I was to hold down R, the game knows to prioritize the magazine over a single shot. So it loaded the 20 round drum mag and it put one in the chamber because I had 20 rounds. Now it says 19 because it loaded one to the chamber. Now let's go over the select fire where it's semi-automatic and then when it's um, full automatic. Now I'm going to go over here away from any infected for now. So let's run over here because they might come running at me, which I don't mind. We'll just shoot them with this nice shotgun. All right, let's go right over here and we'll see if they come when they hear the noise. We are on semi-automatic. I have a 20 round a mag, one in the chamber. Now, if I hold down, I'm gonna hold right click uh, to aim. Now, if you are on PC, right click aims. If you click the mouse button, it now is hip firing. Now it's aiming down sight. You can also, if you hold down your right click, it will automatically do the aim down the, uh, the hip. And then if I let go, see how quick it does. If I tap right click and then hit the mouse button, it's doing that. But if I hold down right mouse button, it just keeps it where you're firing from the hip. And you'll see there is a crosshair on the screen. Some servers turn that off and you can turn that off yourself if you don't like it. And some people leave it on. It's up to you. All right. We are on semi automatic i'm going to aim and i'm going let's go ahead and let's just do this i'm going to hit the left button to fire and you see it fired one shot and it only fires one shot that's what semi-automatic is you have to select and keep hitting the, the mouse button now hit x on the keyboard and we're in full auto when i hold down the left trigger the mouse button there you go that's full auto it's just going to keep on firing away so that's the difference between full auto and semi-auto. So now we're gonna to switch to just using a rifle slug. So we're gonna take one rifle slug, which is the green ammunition, and load it into the chamber. Now this uh, can be used for hunting and you can kill things. You, uh, it's not as good as the buckshot, which spreads for you know close quarter combat. Let's see, we do have an infected right here. We'll line them up with the rifle shot. Let's see how we can do good. Hey, don't run away. And look, it did not do enough good to uh, take them down. So this is when we'll switch to the magazine. Get that guy over there. And you take him out with a buckshot. All right, so I'm going to load one rifle slug back in. Where's that one that's looking for us? He's looking for us right there. How far are you away? See, got him with the rifle slug. All right, so now we're going to go somewhere and take full advantage of our uh, full auto. Let's see how good the full auto is. 
All right, we got attention over there, attention over there, attention over there. So let's say there's that guy, that guy. Got more coming this way. So let's just get him a little bit closer and we'll hold down the full auto. We don't need to do now. We hold down. All right. And one left. All right. And there's a quick rundown of the Vega Select Fire Shotgun. It's not the best weapon in the game, but not bad, especially for close quarter combat. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and get notified.